Welcome back to 13C. Today, we're out at the Everyday Civilian and Krebs Customs shoot. We are having an absolute blast. I've got a lot of awesome stuff in store for you guys, so definitely stick around. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. One thousand fifteen. <laughs> nice. Man, Damn, that's nice. Matt's there you go. You Ow. start low. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. So we're taking a quick break from the shooting and uh, we're going to be talking, I'm here with Alex, he's head gunsmith with Krebs Custom and we're talking a little bit about their IMS muzzle uh, device system that they have. You guys just saw it on the M249 here and uh, you'll see it throughout the day on uh, some various other uh, Kalashnikovs, uh, even a CZ, right? Yes, we did uh, mount one on the Scorpion Evo. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the device itself, there's a couple different configurations too. Uh, yes, the uh, IMS was designed to be a quick change muzzle system in case you either wanted to shorten your barrel down to 14 and a half inches or just not deal with wrenches and crush washers. As you can see, it's got a detent right up here and with the cartridge or anything else, you can unscrew it just like that. 24 millimeter thread. You can have it as just a four prong or use the bird cage, which has been seen on just about everything else here. We do also have a titanium muzzle brake. It screws right on the end, and we're just coming out with a short version as well. Now, the great thing about the IMS is that it's suppressor compatible. So, as you can see, we've got a Liberty can right here, and it screws right onto the end. Right on. And we ran this on a couple other uh, rifles here today. Uh, it's done very well. And uh, we're not going to do it here on video, but there's also a locking collar here. You would just cinch down right on the end there uh, as part of the system. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, we've also got it here on the ASNEC, right? Yes. This is a uh, Vepper based ASNEC SBR converted to full auto. As you can see, it's got the IMS and one of our bird cages right on the end. Exactly. Well, I'm looking forward to putting some rounds down that. Uh, let's get back to it. Sounds good. So we're back with Alex, uh, head gunsmith with Krebs Custom, and you've got another AK variant here. Uh, tell us about it. This is the KB-13 SL. It's almost the exact same as the standard KB-13 Mod 2 that we're producing right now, except it's got a magwell flange on the side and an extended mag release. This release was designed specifically so you could kick out the empty mag with a fresh one. And then the flange just helps you align the new mag a lot quicker in the magwell. All right, Alex, well, that's definitely an improvement over the uh, kind of the quote unquote factory OEM version. Uh, it's great to see you guys continuing to innovate and uh, improve some functionality on the platform. The AK is a great platform, but it's got a few shortcomings in terms of ergonomics. And what we're trying to do is just bring that up to modern standards. Very cool. All right, well, we appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm holding a unicorn in my hands right now. This is the uh, only one in existence right now. This is the AC-15 pistol. Uh, this is the baby brother to the Aztec, right? 
Yes, pretty much. All right, so uh, there's some differences here. We've got uh, an eight inch barrel and this is a pistol uh, built and designed from the ground up as a pistol. Yes, so as you can see, it's got a folding SB tactical arm brace, a uh, shorter version of our key mod forend, and of course the IMS. Very cool, this guy is very, very cool. Very handles extremely well, uh, balanced pretty well too, and I like uh, I like your rail options up here as well. Replacing back here, you guys uh, kind of did the whole nine yards on this, right? Yes. This guy is really nicely packaged. It balances well. It's very very handy. Um, I'm really digging on this guy. I know the question that we're going to have uh, from a lot of a lot of the subscribers. When uh, roughly, you know, I don't want to hold you guys down to anything, so I know this is the first one, uh, but roughly if you had to guess maybe when the first ones might be uh, coming out? We're hoping to do that by fourth quarter this year. Oh, very cool. So it looks like you guys are uh, progressing right along with that. I, uh, I may have to put myself down. I don't know if you guys are having any pre-orders or anything, but uh, I may have to put myself down for one of these because I am really digging on this thing. And this new uh, SB brace on here is uh, a definite upgrade uh, from the older models as well. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us out here today. It was an absolute pre pleasure. Thanks for coming out here and supporting the event uh, with uh, Everyday Civilian and some of the other groups that were out here. Damage Photos was out here. Thanks for coming out. He took a lot of photos of us out here. Uh, half cop targets, uh, FCKT it uh, holsters were out here as well. And I, hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Uh, if I am, I'll put those down in the comments or let it scroll down below. Uh, thank you again, everybody for joining us. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here, uh, you can find all your answers and links down below. Feel free to ask us. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gun reviews, as well as at 13C gun reviews. And I'll have links down below uh, to Krebs Custom, uh, as well as everyone else that was out here today uh, doing this absolute blast. Thanks again for joining us and uh, stay safe guys. We'll talk soon. stuff to screw up. <laughs>